بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیئر اینڈ ٹو ڈے وی ڈو واٹ جسٹ اے اسمالر ویڈیو مائنر ویڈیو یو نو سم بیسک تھنگس ناٹ امپارٹنٹ ویڈیو اف یو وانٹ ٹو اسکپ اٹ یو کین جسٹ اسکپ اٹ دس از جسٹ اے بیسک لیول تھنگس رائٹ یو مے نو دس ویری ویل دس از آرٹیکل ون پوائنٹ فائیو آف دا بک وچ از یونٹس آف انرجی سو آئی گیو اٹ دا نیم دس از واٹ یونٹس آف انرجی so basically what is energy it is the 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 capability of anything to do work capability of something to do work is known as its energy so the most important forms of energy are three you have mechanical energy you have electrical energy and then you have thermal energy so these are the three major forms of energy and most important for us right different units have been assigned to various forms of energy however it must be realized that since mechanical electrical and thermal energies are interchangeable of course they are interchangeable one form converted to another form mechanical converted to electrical electrical converted to mechanical examples are what mechanical to electrical is what is a motor electrical to mechanical is what uh, uh, electrical to mechanical motor mechanical to electrical generator right so you have them what i would write over here that they are interchangeable why because one of them can be converted to another right yes it is possible so it is as possible to assign them a single unit so we may we may have a common unit for all of them why because they are all interchangeable so we it would be easy for us as well so let's say the first that we talk about is the mechanical energy we we want to talk about some units of the mechanical energy the units of mechanical energy is newton meter or joule so the unit is what the unit is newton meter or it is equivalent to joule it is in the si system fine yes now what is newton meter so the work done by a on a body is 1 newton meter if a force of 1 newton moves it through a distance of 1 meter so 1 newton meter is work done if a force of 1 newton is applied on a body and it moves it through a distance of 1 meter so you say that a work has been done of 1 newton meter so this is what this is the mechanical energy this is the mechanical energy in joules or newton meters mechanical energy in joules is equal to 1 newton meter which means a force of 1 newton displaces a body through a distance of 1 meter right yes this is for the mechanical energy the second is for the electrical energy so the unit is what the unit for electrical energy is watt second or watt second is equivalent to joule watt second or joules so it is defined as 1 watt second or joule is transferred this and this much energy is transferred that is 1 joule of electrical energy or 1 watt second of electrical energy is transferred between two points if a potential difference of 1 volt exists between them if a potential difference of 1 volt exists between them and 1 ampere current passes for 1 second so the energy is said to be 1 joules right yes 1 joule energy or 1 watt second energy is transferred between two points if a potential difference of 1 volt exists between them and a current of 1 ampere passes for 1 second this is the definition for the electrical energy now watt second is quite a small unit quite a small unit but we are we are studying the course of power system operation so we need a bigger unit why because we have number of units consumed are so much a lot of electric energy is being consumed so we go for kilowatt hours kilowatt hour you are familiar with so basically we start with a watt hour you have what you have a watt hour so so this would be what this would be one watt an hour so hour uh, you have to uh, convert the second into mi uh, the minutes into seconds so watt seconds 
so an hour contains how many seconds are 60 minutes and then further 60 seconds so this would be 360 so one watt hour is what 3600 this is 3600 seconds so one watt hour would give you 3600 one watt hour is 3600 watt seconds yes yes so this is 3600 watt seconds and similarly then you can have one kilowatt hour so our basic unit is one kilowatt hour so one kilowatt hour would be the same thing in watt seconds so you also have to introduce a kilo so this would be a 3600 into 10 to the power 3 watt seconds or you would write 36 into 10 to the power 5 watt second this is for kilowatt hours right yes now next is the thermal energy or the heat energy so i would write over here heat is what he's the book says is a sensation of warmth anyways it is right so heat is uh, that energy which produces a sensation of warmth the unit is either so they've defined three units over here calorie british thermal unit and the centigrade heat units so this is also joules okay or 36 and 10 power 5 joules so for heat they have defined three units the first one is let's say calorie so one calorie it is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of water through one degree centigrade so one calorie one calorie is what is the is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree celsius right yes sometimes you use kilocalories so kilocalories what one thousand uh, so the kilocalorie would be what kilocalorie it would be the amount of heat required to 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 raise the temperature of one kilogram of water by one degree centigrade so this is equal to one thousand calories of course right yes then you have the british thermal unit btu british thermal unit which is expressed as b and then you have t h and u so one btu is what it is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature one British thermal unit is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one pound of water by how much degrees by a one Fahrenheit by one Fahrenheit yes yes similarly then you have the next is the centigrade head units you have the centigrade head unit which is what C H U so one centigrade head unit is what it is the amount of heat required to raise the temperature of one pound of water through one degree centigrade so this is the next unit for heat so they've discussed three units for heat so you can uh, do the conversions as well the book has written over here are some conversions and do you want me to write them over here do you want me to write them over here relationship let's say we write it let's say we write the relationship between different energy units so i would just write it i will not go into the detail of it so the first is between electrical and mechanical the first one is between electrical and mechanical so this says what that one kilowatt hour is 36 into 10 to the power 5 uh, watt seconds or joules yes yes so this one kilowatt hour is the electrical unit and 36 into 10 to the power 5 joules so this is a mechanical unit joules right yes similarly the next is heat and mechanical so thermal and mechanical heat and mechanical so what does this say one calorie is 4.18 joule this is important now one calorie calorie is for heat and 4.18 joules is for the for the what for the mechanical this is important then you have what one centigrade head unit or what centigrade head unit yes so this is equal to one pound into one degree centigrade 
वन पाउंड इन टू वन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड सो दिस मीन्स फोर वन पाउंड इज वॉट फोर फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स ग्राम इन टू वन डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड सो दिस वुड गिव यू फोर हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स कैलरीज फोर फिफ्टी थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स कैलरीज and then you uh, you would like to convert it into joules so you have 453.6 so multiply it with a 4.18 joules so this would give you 1896 uh, joules fine yes similarly then you have the one british thermal unit you have bthu so this gives you what 1 pound into 1 degree fahrenheit so this would be equal 1 pound is 453.6 grams multiply 5 by 9 for degree centigrade to fahrenheit to centigrade yes so this gives you 252 calories fine yes now you want to convert it into joules so you have 252 multiply 4.18 joules so this gives you what 1053 joules 1053 joules so these are not important but anyways btu and chu are obsolete joules is the unit that is used the next is the electrical and heat so this is important for us for the uh, from which point of view from the steam power station point of view so what do we have over here is 1 uh, kilowatt hour is 1 kilowatt hour this is again you know is 36 into 10 to the power 5 joules or 36.5 In ten to five watt seconds, right? Yes. You want to convert it into calories, so joules to calories. So I will divide it by four point one eight. So which means thirty six into ten to the power five divided by four point one eight would give you what calories? Eight sixty. Eight sixty into ten to the power three calories. This is for one kilowatt hour of electrical unit. So this comes out to be. an important conversion that 1 kilowatt hour is equal to 860 kilo calories you have to keep this in mind we will be using it in the examples similarly you can convert it into the chus as well how that 1 kilowatt hour is how much is 36 into 10 to the power 5 joules right so joules to chus you can convert by dividing it by what by dividing it by 1896 1896 have a look this is chu and joules fine so what would this come out to be this would come out to be 1898 chu 1898 chu similarly you can convert a 1 kilowatt hour by Into what? Thirty-six into ten power five divided by. You can convert into BTU by dividing it by one zero five three joules. Have a look. So this is the conversion. So one zero five three. If you divide it by, so it gives you uh, one BTU, one kilowatt hour comes equal to uh, three four one eight. Three four one eight. Three four one eight British. thermal units is that fine it is so this was just a smaller video i told you these are some basic things you know it very well the next topic is of efficiency so efficiency is what uh output divided by input while you are converting one power to another so basically in the conversion some of the efficiency is being lost some of the input is being lost to the surrounding so the entire input is not available at the output some of them is lost so of course the output has to be less than the input so the in efficiency is the output power divided by the input power fine yes or this is also defined in terms of energy uh, that the efficiency eta is the output energy divided by the input energy and i hope that this is clear this was just a smaller thing whatever it is so i believe that i finish this video over here what do you say what do you say yes so they have a topic by the advantages of solid fuels over liquid fuels and so liquid fuels over solid fuels so just check it out for yourself you check it out for yourself i will see you in the next video i will see you in the next video with what with the topic of examples okay so till then take care of yourselves everyone around you do remember me in your prayers do subscribe to the channel goodbye